Hello and good morning, it's Phil Thatch, and I'm here today at the Sittens Gulch Trailhead, which goes into Cloudland Canyon State Park here in Georgia. Uh, I never would have known about this location if it weren't for David Sailors. I would only have known how to get here from the top of the mountain and climb down the 600 stairs. Apparently this is a three mile trail. I'm not actually really sure about that, but it's, it's not short and uh, I'm gonna walk up this trail and see what sort of photography opportunities I can find. If I make it all the way to the waterfalls, which is quite a ways, I'll do waterfall photography, but even if I don't make it, I'm sure there's gonna be some great stuff to photograph. Today I'm using the X-T3 and I'm making this particular clip with my Helios 44-2 vintage Russian lens. So I've got that lens with me today and the two lenses that I often carry with the X-T3, the 18-55 and the 55 to 200. So I'm gonna get my gear loaded up. I've got lots of water and snicker bars to keep me going and uh, it's time to get at it. I hiked for about 20 minutes before I came to the first thing that I said, you know what, I've just gotta make a photograph of that. And it's this bend in the trail as it comes around this way and then goes up and curves back to the right. I saw that and said, man, I gotta get a shot. And I did not bring an ultra wide lens with me today, so I ended up making a panorama. So uh, that could be the first shot you see in the video if it comes out okay. I can hear the rushing water of the creek down there. I guess that's Sitton's Gulch. Uh, it doesn't seem real high flow, but at least there is some flow. There's been some rain lately, but not as much as I would have preferred, but I've been wanting to come here for a long time, so I just came on today while I had a chance. Okay, so as you could see from the previous clip, I could get the entire trail in the shot at 18 millimeters with the Fuji 18 to 55, but I wanted the trail to have some breathing room and I wanted the, the going over the hill part of the trail in the background to be more towards the center of the frame. So the panorama worked out really well, I thought. I'm happy with this one. I found a, a second composition that I like while I was hiking along the trail. This, I've seen a lot of water compositions that I liked, but not one that was looked like it would be quick to get to from the hiking trail, and I really want to get to the end and not waste a lot of time, but I really thought this was beautiful, and I think it's probably a photography faux pas to move a large, you know, a really big log like a tree out of your composition. I think it's probably okay to move this twig, so I moved it. And uh, although I've already shot this twice, I shot it with a polarizer at uh, one second, and then I shot it with a polarizer at a half a second. I'm gonna shoot it again at a half a second, or maybe even faster, without that twig. If I can climb out of here. Yeah. The rocks aren't very bad here, but down there, closer to the water, they are slick. Okay, so I made several different compositions of this little area of the creek. And this one where it makes it look like it's coming straight at you was my favorite by a wide margin. The only thing I don't like about it is that one boulder is kind of blocking some of the little spill, but there was nothing I could do about that. If you watch David Saylor's video about this location, he talks about uh, milestones along the trail and the first one he talked about is when that turns from hardwoods to where you start to see Douglas firs and that was right about the place where I took that little trickling um, waterfall not really a waterfall just a, a pretty area of the creek uh, that was right about the same place where the Douglas firs started and the second milestone was this bridge that goes over the creek this uh, marker right here says that I'm still on the Sittens Gulch Trail, but it also marks the beginning of the Waterfalls Trail that starts at the top of the mountain. So I guess, it, I guess this is the 600th of the 600 stairs on the Waterfall Trail. Uh, I'm really tired. There's a lot of elevation gain when you're going in this direction. The good news is it's all downhill on the way back. So uh, it should be easier. And the other good news is I brought lots of water so after I rest for a couple more minutes, 
I'm going to press on and try to make it all the way to the waterfalls. Although this, just to my right, might be one of the waterfalls, but it's it's not that much to to write home about. Hopefully, I'll find some better compositions than this uh, up these stairs. Whew, man, what a beautiful morning it's been so far. I've really enjoyed this hike, although it has been strenuous for a man who turns 54 in about a month and a half and uh, kind of fat, likes beer a lot. <laughs> Tough hike for me, but worth it, I think. All right, so I'm extremely backlit now, but I've climbed up to the top of the stairs and I'm directly over the creek. I think this is Bear Creek. I could be mistaken, but let me do a quick 360 or maybe a slow 360 and kind of let you see the entire scene from up here. It's really something here at Cloudland Canyon State Park. And that's the bridge I was just on. I'm actually still on it as it curves around, but that's the high up part that goes right over the creek. I'm at a crossroads now. This is the main trailhead. And this is what takes you up all those stairs and all the way up to the top of the mountain. But I'm going this way to Hemlock Falls, which is over there. Well, that's Hemlock Falls right back there. Kind of disappointing. There's been a pretty good bit of rain lately, but it's barely flowing. I'll have to come back here sometime after there was a monsoon overnight and maybe I'll see this thing rocking and rolling. But it's kind of cool that it's not flowing great on my first trip. So that'll give me something to look forward to, give me a reason to come back and uh, you know just kind of experience the trail this time and next time experience the waterfall wide open. I'm still gonna take a picture of it. Here is my Hemlock Falls photograph and this one took lots and lots of editing to make it look pretty. Uh, and the flow was extra super low, but I think even with the really low flow, it turned out looking kind of nice. But let me show you what it looked like before I edited it. The picture on the left, although it has been cropped to match the edited photo, has no other editing. So you can see that I did quite a bit of work to uh, bring out the beauty of this waterfall. Also, my daughter says that the boulder on the right looks like a rhinoceros butt. Whew. Okay, I'm back up at the observation platform for that waterfall, and uh, but I went walking all around down there in it, and honestly, I don't know if you're really supposed to do that or not. There's no sign saying don't go down there, and there's definitely evidence that people go down there quite a bit, uh, but I'm not sure if I was actually supposed to be down there, but I went. And, uh, you know, I, I took some photos on the back side of the big boulder, which you might not be able to see because that tree might be blocking it, and then I went all the way over to the right uh, and to the right of the falls, there's a pool. And I wanted to get that pool in the foreground and in order to get it in there just right and to frame up, I, I like the bottom of this waterfall while it's not flowing very strong. In order to frame it upright, I took my shoes and socks off and waded out into the water a little bit more than knee deep. There's some small fish in there and they were nibbling on me. <laughs> but anyway. I'm Okay, so I didn't like any of the photographs that I made from directly behind the rhinoceros butt boulder, but I did kind of like this one a little bit, not a whole lot that I made while I was standing in the pool to the right of that boulder. So here is that one, and it was kind of fun and refreshing to wade a little bit in that cold water. And now here are a couple of slow motion clips that I made with the 55 to 200 from the observation platform. This is the very top of Hemlock Falls, and now this is the bottom of Hemlock Falls, as seen from the observation platform at 50% speed slow motion. All right, so I'm up here on this observation platform and I put my Helios 44-2 on, my old Russian 58 F2 lens from 1976, and I put it on the X-T3 and this is the same lens I made the very first clip of this video with. Um, and behind the camera is the waterfall, but behind me is the gorge. I'm on this platform, it's pretty far up in the air, you know, 15 or 20 feet. And there's lots of trees in the gorge with beautiful dappled sunlight coming through. So I thought that would be a great place to kind of take advantage of the characteristics of this lens. So I, uh, I got the focus set right and made 
a selfie of myself sitting right here in this spot and I thought I would talk to you about it uh, and make a video clip from right here as well. So you can probably already see the bokeh and then I'll show you the selfie here in just a moment. Okay, so here is that selfie and I did miss the focus. You know, if you're using a manual focus lens and you're trying to make a selfie, you have to just kind of put the focus point where you think your eye is going to be. And you know, you can't just focus on that piece of wood because my eye is in front of it. But I missed it a little bit this time. In this next clip, it's a little bit better. All right, I've rested long enough, ate a couple of Snicker bars, uh, small ones. So now it's time to hike back to the car. I'm gonna to try to find some photographic opportunities on the way, but uh, my uphill mission for the day is done. Now it's two and a half miles or thereabouts downhill back to the Sittens Gulch trailhead in Trenton, Georgia. All right, so that last clip was made with the Helios, and as I made my way back down towards the stairs, I saw this beautiful leaf sitting on the top of the handrail, and using the Helios, I made a photograph of it. This was handheld, and I think I probably missed the focus on this just a little bit, but sharp focus is not what that lens is all about. It just renders things kind of beautifully. Okay, take a look at this composition. I'm all the way down the stairs now, but if you look at the very top of the frame, kind of right in there, you can see the walkway that I was on earlier. And if you look, it's kind of hard to place it. If you look right in here, you can see one waterfall way in the distance. And of course, obviously down here in the bottom is this waterfall. I made uh, several different shots of this at various uh, angles, and I think this particular composition right here at 18 millimeters is the best. Um, I tried to get this log in the bottom left out, but it just crunched it down too small. So uh, I think this is the one I'm gonna go with. I'm really super thrilled with that last photograph uh, that I was showing you the composition of in the last clip. It looks really, really beautiful on the back of the camera. Hopefully when I get home and put it on the computer, It'll look as good. If not, I'll be really disappointed. But uh, anyway, if it does look as good as it did on the back of the camera, it's, it's gonna be something. And uh, I'll show that to you right now. Okay, I'm gonna show you two different uh, compositions of this same photo. This was the one that I had it zoomed in a little bit. I was at 22.3 millimeters, trying to get that log out of the foreground on the left. And turns out I kinda like that log uh, in retrospect. And the next shot is kind of the same shot, except for now it's at 18 millimeters and you can see more of the scene. And that log does make a nice foreground interest. And uh, on this one, I, I raised the shadows just a little bit. And so it's less contrasty looking, but you can see more detail in the shadows on this one. Uh, I kind of like it both ways. I can't really decide. So I did one one way and one the other. And this is a 16 by nine crop of the previous shot, which I'll use this one for the thumbnail of this video. But I thought I would also present it to you in the video because I kind of like the 16 by nine crop version of it. It doesn't seem to lose too much of the shot and it seems to maintain all of the goodness. You know, it was really steep going uphill on the way to get to the waterfalls and that was super hard. And now it's kind of steep going downhill on the way back, which is nowhere near as hard, but it's still not easy. This section I'm on right now is relatively level, but uh, quite a few of them were so steep that I wouldn't want to get the camera out and try to make a clip while I was hiking. But uh, anyway, right now I think it's smooth enough to where I can make a clip. It's just so beautiful. I'm walking right under a young Douglas fir tree right now. And uh, there's all sorts of boulders and things lining the trail and then the creek is over there to my right. I'm gonna come back here again maybe in the fall and even in the fall when it's when it's been raining a lot would be perfect. This definitely won't be my last time coming here. In addition to being an easy to read trail there's also these uh, blue trail blazes along the trail so you won't get lost on the Sittens Gulch Trail. So the next two photographs are just really quick handheld shots I made as I was hiking back towards the car. I really liked the way this boulder was sticking out 
on the side of the hill or the mountain. And also I thought this tree looked really cool the way it's growing up really strange and then splitting. And I like the way the trail was meandering to the left here. And the next thing you're going to see is a beetle that I made a quick video clip of moving. And the next video I have coming out is beetle photography, just not of this one. There's lots of side trails in the earlier portions of the trail. I'm most of the way back to the car now and you can see this side trail here is called the Case Trail. But I'm staying on the main trail, Sitton's Gulch. Okay, this is a beautiful flower that I found up there at the Sitton's Gulch area. And I made this with the Helios lens at F2. It's a day flower. Some people call these widow's tears. Uh, there's a lot of varieties of this, so I don't know exactly which one, but I thought it was beautiful and I made a photograph tripoded up with the Helios. Well, I think I'm getting pretty close to the trailhead now, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. I really appreciate you folks coming with me on this five plus mile hike in Sitton's Gulch, part of Cloudland Canyon State Park in Georgia. I've enjoyed it and it looks like I'm gonna survive it. So thanks for coming along with me, thanks for watching. If you like the content, thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you wanna see some more, subscribe and hit the bell. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.